Welcome back to DMACO Golf. So today we're going to be revisiting my last breakthrough swing thought called the loop. And we're going to be checking in on how my stroke is doing and I hope you guys are able to comment down below and let me know how you guys are doing with the loop. So why am I over here at the drawing board? Well, we're going to revisit the loop. All right. And the whole premise of this was to stop me from slicing. And this has really helped me shave five or six strokes off my handicap. So now that I'm a mid handicapper, not a high handicapper, but trust me, since I started golfing in my late twenties, this is something that I've been struggling with for about 20 years is the slice. Now, the whole premise of the loop, and here's our golf ball. The whole premise of the loop is to just let your body work the way it's supposed to. And what we want to do, and I showed this on my last video, is take the club straight back as far as you can. And what will happen is when you hit the top of your backswing, your body is automatically going to be routing the ball or uh, routing your club head through the ball on this angle and you really don't have to think too hard about it now we've always heard hey if only you could hit the ball at the four o'clock position or the five o'clock position you would have this nice inside out swing path but with you taking it away as straight as far back as you as you can your body practically does this motion anyhow and I'm gonna go and demonstrate this in a moment in my simulator and we'll see how far I can get my seven iron again because I've gotten close to 200 yards on a seven iron where you know with a with a carry of 180 yards where the PGA pros are only carrying their seven irons 172 yards so for me it's been a real game changer now Contrast this to what most amateurs do, where they pull the club back on the inside, hoping that they'll follow that same route back through the swing. But what ends up happening is your body automatically will route the club this way, resulting in either pull hooks or that dreaded slice if your club face is open. So this is not what we want to be looking at. We want a nice inside to out path. And I'll talk to you about the grip in just a moment, but let's get out to the simulator ready. All right, we're gonna come out to the garage now and hit some shots. I'm gonna show you the loop swing. Again, we're gonna be working with my seven iron. We're gonna see if we can crank this up uh, and we're going to also be doing some slow-mo so you can see what my, um, what my swing looks like in slow motion as well. All right, guys, so I've got my seven iron here. Remember, we're going to take it straight back as far as we can without falling over. And so you should see that the head of the club is in the general vicinity of my hands right now. That's how you know you've got a nice takeaway. Make sure to go low and slow on the takeaway and really extend those arms through. Keep your head there. And then we complete the loop, which will cause our hips to start rotating. And we come through with a nice finish. Make sure this arm's nice and straight and extended. And we're through into the shot. All right, let's take a look at how we can make out with a couple of seven irons here. Now I push that to the right. I don't know if it's going to come back or not. All right, 162 carry. Look at this, guys. I pushed it 12 degrees out to the right, which is fine. It's kind of overcooking it. But look, I didn't have any draw spin on the ball at all. And that's why it hung out to the right. So let's 
let's make sure that we rotate that face closed and get that drawing right back into the fairway. All right, that felt really good. Come back, come back, come back. Look at that. Coming right back. Wow. Whoa, wow. 187 carry, guys. Almost a 200-yard 7-iron. All right, guys, so stick with the loop. Comment below how are you guys doing with the loop. Are you guys seeing more hip rotation because it's just coming naturally? Are you seeing more extension because you're coming in at the ball instead of coming over top? Love to see those comments. If you enjoy these videos, hit like, subscribe to uh, more videos are coming. I've actually got a really interesting video coming up next. I'm going to have my driver in a regular shaft and a stiff shaft to see if a mid to high handicapper can even tell the difference in yardage. So check out that video. It's coming up soon. Take care.